Hello, everybody, and welcome to Idiots in Space. And the more I keep playing this game, the more apt that name is, because for some dumb reason, I accidentally deleted the rest of the Idiots in Space uh, mini-series that I was making, and uh, we lost about three hours worth of video. Uh, we recorded about five hours approximately, and I was editing up as I went, and uh, we lost a significant portion of that because I was an idiot. But keep an eye on DW's channel. He's still uploading videos nice and slowly, so you might be able to catch up from, from what you missed. Um, and before I continue on with today's episode, well, no, before I continue on with showing what's going on, I want to go over a little bit of what I want to do today. Okay, so you remember when I said that uh, I don't think I build big enough? You know, I don't think I build grand enough and large enough? Well, I still think I have that problem. I don't think I'm building large enough. Yeah. Um, so this was an idea that I had. What I want to do is I want to make a drill ship. That's that has drills on the front and enough of them in such a way that I can bore burrow straight through an asteroid instead of just having to drill myself a nice little wide hole and getting lost in the hole and getting stuck in said hole. I want to be able to well just drill straight through it and I I'm fairly sure a large ship is the way to go. And, I mean, this one, it works. It flies. It drills. Um, let's see. Can I see which hole? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. This I did in about 10 seconds. So the large drills are probably the way to go. I just need to uh, position them correctly and build the ship correctly around them. So I'm probably not thinking three drills. I'm probably thinking a crap ton more. But I don't want to start that because a lot of my resources are in that thing right there. So what I do want to do is build a grinder ship. Now, y'all remember Volt. Uh, basically, Volt was just like this guy. It had two welders on the front of it. This is Amp, by the way. I built him with the idea that we could eventually use the connectors, these guys. And uh, I don't know if I showed it off, but I tried to get a connector to work on the station, but it wouldn't work. It just didn't work. Um, but I wanted to do that because these guys, the spawn ships, have connectors on the bottom as well. So I wanted to do that. Uh, but a recent update, uh, the very same update where I realized we have a slider to pick the colors of our uniform now, we got fully functional connectors. Now, I can show you how they work. I have an amp right here all ready to go. Basically, what you do is you line up your connector. Flip you up. And then if you get it connect or lined up correctly which I'm not doing right because I'm getting confused by the controls. Hang on a second. I was doing this so well before. There we go. It will magnetically attach. Now, if you go into your control panel, you find your connector and you lock it. All of a sudden, you see everything from what you're attached to. So all of these things are in our station that we built. You know, City 17. Um, you can get into your production. Obviously, my amp here doesn't have production or anything. Um, but I can actually access productions. Um, and we can get into the inventory of... Oh, it's still doing the refinery from when I was playing with the giant drills. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can get into the inventory of the station. Now, there is a glitch... Uh, let's see if I can replicate it right here. Uh, control panel, connector. I don't like how if you get out of it and you get back into it, it organizes everything by, uh, you know, by uh, uh, name. 
by by letter or alphabetically. That's the word I'm looking for. It sorts everything alphabetically. I don't like that because it's just confusing. I know it's color coded and that's great. But I would like it where the stuff that's in my ship is right at the top and the stuff that's not in my ship is at the bottom constantly. Uh, but anyways, we unlock, so we lose everything. We can't see the inventory anymore. We can't see productions. And then we go back to our connector and lock. We can see production again, but inventory doesn't show up. So there, there, it's a small glitch, and the way around that is you get out of your inventory and right back in. Oh, I hit K instead of I. And then you can see it from everything. Or what you can do, all right, you see how the X's on the connector are uh, darker red? If you hit P, the parking brake, you see how they went to a yellow? Did I say red? I meant green. Um, but they went yellow. Then that's how... I mean, you could just hit the parking brake and connect. Uh, and then you hit your inventory and you can see everything. So it's a small glitch, but you can work around the glitch. There's also other glitches. Uh, you see how I have this medium cargo container and medium cargo container 2. These are all on amp. Uh, I don't know if I can repeat this problem. No, right now I can't repeat this problem. Um, but every now and then I have this problem where I can't put stuff in cargo container one, the, the medium cargo container here. And the reason for that I'm gathering anyways is cargo container one is here, connected, whoa, wrong button, to the rest of the ship via this small tube to a reactor right there. That's where that conveyor is going. Then, back here to a small cargo container back here which is connected via its big connection to the connector now i had the same exact problem before this is actually amp mark two it's been extended that's why there are no engines this far back um where i just had this connector here with its small uh dock small port whatever these we're going to call these doors here uh just the small tube was connected directly to it, and I couldn't do anything with that. Um, ooh, let's see if I can do it from here. Uh, I for inventory. Click. Nope. Now it's working. It's working fine now. Uh, normally, I can't. I can pull stuff from the station to the medium cargo container too, but I can't pull stuff from medium cargo container two into medium cargo container. I have to put it into my inventory and then into medium cargo container. I really wish I could replicate that problem, but as with most bugs, it's hard to predict. Okay. I don't like how hard you have to push to disconnect from the connector. I have four engines. If I only had two or just one, I wouldn't be able to disconnect at all. And it kind of sucks. All right, so anyways... Um, that's the really awesome thing that was done. Uh, a couple of things that we did, obviously, I've painted the thing. I didn't do that in the miniseries, but I painted the thing. I like it better with the black and the, the, the darker yellowish. It's kind of like a black and gold kind of thing. Um, just the warning uh, colors when you get in. We got a bunch of ships now where they dock. Uh, that's the bat. It's our tugboat. Basically, I go after ships with it. Um, the general idea is that I can catch them, but thanks to the fact that this is now a server and not a local connection, I have problems doing that, as we found out the hard way, and that was in our show. Uh, this is the ship that DW was working on. Did he call it anything? Boop. Uh, the Lancer, from the looks of it. Boop. Yeah. The Lancer. So he made this ship. It's the Lancer. Um, it has Gatling guns on it. That's kind of cool. We tur I turn off the reactors now because for two reasons. One, this is a server now. And it's not like Minecraft where there are loaded chunks and unloaded chunks. And when you log out, when everybody logs out, there are no loaded chunks. Except possibly for spawn. But... Everything seems to be loaded constantly. 
which means that the reactors keep sucking power constantly. So you, if you if you only have enough reactor juice for you know a couple hours, it's going to be gone the next time you log in. Um, so yeah, I mean we got to worry constantly worry about uranium. Uh, we do have to worry about our shuttles here, the spawn shuttles, because right now they're the only place with these medical rooms. And if the medical room doesn't have power, you can't spawn there. So that's something to be concerned with, which is why, you know, I constantly have to be hunting for uranium now. I always, always have to be paying attention to uranium supplies. Because if I go away for a week, I come back, I, I, I spawn 2,000 blocks away with a new spawn ship. Because I can't spawn in any of the med bays. And I quite like this. Uh, we have factions now. That's why they're, the, the, the green text is around. Um, basically, the green text means that it's not associated to anybody, I think. Uh, it's owned by nobody. Uh, I'm back, baby, is in white because this is my ship. I've claimed it. I can't claim the Medibay, though. Every time I claim it, log out, log back in, the claim is gone. It's back to nobody. So anybody can spawn there. Which defeats the entire purpose of factions entirely. Hopefully they'll fix that sometime here soon. Or possibly they have. Hang on a second. Let's find out. I've had two updates since I've actually been paying attention. Since they released uh, um, update notes. There's been two updates that I can recognize. At least two things that Steam has downloaded. Um, I? Okay. Control panel. Terminal is not connected to any ship. Okie dokie. Apparently I can't control it from there, but I should be able to control it from here. Uh, med bay, med bay, med... Medical room. I want owner, me. Are you sure you want to change the owner to me? Yes. Share with my faction. Though I don't have a faction set up because I don't care. You know, and then I can close out. We hit K again just to make sure. Uh, medical room, owner me, share with my faction. So, in theory, only I should be able to spawn here. But, if I exit to main menu, then I go to join world, LAN, me. I can't believe it takes that long to download one meg of a freaking uh, world. I mean, I know the worlds are small, but I still can't believe that I actually see the percentage. Okay, so see? Medical room, nobody. Medical room, nobody. So owner, nobody. So if I go down to my ship, we can see that that's my ship, but it still says owner, nobody. So if I respawn, boop. Which, for the record, it reset all my inventory as well. Um, the steel plates that I had in my inventory are gone. I got another hand drill. So it resets my inventory every time I log in, which actually kind of sucks. Actually, lots of sucks. So you got to make sure to empty your inventory before you log off. Um, okay. Medical room. Owner? Nobody. So, yeah. That's kind of a glitch that I don't like. But it's an alpha game. I will give them the benefit of the doubt in this situation. I do give a lot of leeway to alpha games even though I am kind of strict on them, um, you do have to be at least a little bit strict on alpha games because if you don't, then, well, I mean, no, it, nothing gets fixed. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do today is build a ship shockingly like AMP here. In fact, I'm going to design it exactly the same as AMP here, but instead of with the welders, it's going to have the grinders on the front. And that way, I can grind down ships, specifically that guy right there and that guy right there, because I have another whole one right there. Um, I actually initially intended to make that guy just float off into nothingness and just keep going at like 0.3 kilometers per second. But uh, it doesn't have a cockpit anymore. The cockpit kind of went bye-byes. And uh, its uh, inertial dampeners are still on. So, hmm, fun stuff. Um, also what you may have noticed is that the turrets are no longer active, and I'm not being pelted to death by meteors. We turned them off. It was a consensus between me and DW, because they, they, they weren't 
entertaining anymore. They were just annoying. You know, you'd be sitting there soldering, 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 turn around, there's a giant hole behind you, and it's like, ugh. It's not entertaining anymore. I just have to re-solder this area again. So I turned them off, and now it's just going to be a buildy series. We're not going to be worried about killing things. Um, I've also got these solar panels. I have no idea if these solar panels are going to help any. I don't know how many solar panels are required to run things, so that sounds like a test for the future. So let's actually do something. Uh, we want a new large or new small ship. There we go. Okay. And uh, like I said, we're going to make this just like AMP. Just, you know, slightly different. I need construction components to build the landing gear. Boop. Construction components. Let's see. Where are you? Construction components. Let's put uh, a couple in there. Uh, 30 ought to do me for now. You know what? I need to get rid of this hand drill. The hand drill just annoys me. I don't use it for anything anymore. And we have a room full of them. I'm not joking when I say that. We have a room full of them. I have no use for them. All right. So back to G. New small ship. Boop. Build you over here. Just out of the way. And note this. This landing gear is complete. 100% complete. Uh, G you there put you there go away go away go away so if we look at that the landing gear is complete so i got a free large steel tube free motor and a free steel plate so if you're at a point where you really 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 need large steel tubes get a bunch of construction components or at least one construction component because you'll get that back uh put down a landing gear grind it you'll get those four things put down another landing gear you'll lose a construction component grind it get those four things again I think I found another glitch. There's a lot of them, aren't there? All right. Light armor block. Uh, we should color this something different. Yellow? Yeah, let's make it yellow. All right, so how did I do this? I need steel plate to make that. See, now if that spawn glitch didn't happen, I'd have steel plate, about 600 of them in my inventory. Boop. Though I can't say I am terribly worried about running out of supplies. Five. All right, so five of those. I don't remember how far forward I came. I'm kind of winging it. Uh, one, two, three. So just three? Yeah, apparently just three. So that makes two. And that makes three. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because the arms here, the be big beefy arms of this guy are, like, right there. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, and then I need a cockpit. Boop. Plunk you down there. I need interior plate now. Boop. Come on. I. Kind of hard to see around that, but that's okay. Get another 30 of those, because I'm just building. I'm going to be using... I'm not going to be soldering anything by hand. I'm going to be doing that all... Whoops. With the ship. Uh, with amp there. Boop. I'm getting so many emails all at once. Um, all right. Yeah, I got my dad into XBMC. Uh, he was looking for a replacement media center system since Sage got bought out by Google and then basically abandoned. Um, so I got him into XBMC, and he's he's liking it. He is. Um, how far back am I going? Wait, how did I design this thing? Crap, I forget how I designed this thing in the middle. Um... Well, since we're going to make this longer, let's build the thrusters ever so slightly different. Uh, I like them sticking out like this, like being f farther forward, like the reverse thrusters being farther forward, because then I don't run the risk of thruster damage when I connect to the uh, connector here. So I like that idea. Um, and I'm just going to build a square-ish base here. That I'll probably tear part of out later to round off the corners. Like how I have the corners rounded here. Yeah, like that. All right. And then I am going to do my trick that I did with uh, Little Red. I used a small conveyor. And since I have to worry about tubes, 
So, nine. Put a small conveyor there. And boop. Then I have all the space around it to put stuff, like sideways thrusters and crap like that. All right. And I also have to go in under here. Boop, crouch. And I can freeze the game, apparently. There we go. <laughs> I love this game. I do. I really, really do. Uh, let's point you in the right direction. So you need to go end over end, like that. You need to go there. All right. And then we just need regular tubes. I seem to remember these auto-rotating to fit with the slot you're pointing at. But they don't seem to do that anymore. All right, now this is where it gets a little bit creative. Uh, let's actually just solder this all up and put it together so we can see what we're doing at least. Woo! I should be able to solder without too, too much of a problem thanks to Amp's AOE soldering. Yep, I'm hitting the middle. So all I have to do is just go forward as I'm soldering. I love the AOE soldering. It's, it's kind of interesting. I think the hand soldering tools do it too, but to a significantly lesser extent, so you like never see it. At least I kind of saw two being soldered at once while I was fiddling with the hand soldering gun. I don't know if I was just seeing things, or that was just a hell of a coincidence, but it seemed to be that way. And I'm going to go with it, because I, know not, I, I don't know better. And as I call this series, Idiot in Space... It seems to be appropriate to assume things because, well, I'm the idiot in space. Oh, I still can't believe I lost that collection of videos. Oh, I am so ashamed of myself. I am very disappointed in myself for doing that. I must have been cleaning out the hard drives. I do that every now and then because while I do have a significant amount of hard drive space, um, I mean, even I run out. These Recording with fraps is not tiny. I mean, this recording right here, I've been recording for 23 minutes now, is probably going to be somewhere around 250 gig. Wait, no, no, that's not right. More like 25 gig. You know what? I have no idea how big this is going to be. Um, actually, 25 gig is probably about accurate. Uh, because, yeah, I don't record at 1080. Uh, I may someday, but I don't now. Because I like running in windowed mode. Uh, that way I can uh, take my mouse and do other things with it. For example, start Audacity. <laughs> Alright, so right now it looks like a truck. A space truck. Plop. Alright, and we have a tube here. And this tube will connect to the uh, grinders. And I need, boop, I need a way to connect it. Because if we take a look at the grinders right now, where are they? Grinder, grinder, grinder. All right. Now, on the small ship, boop, Ugh, if I can get turned around enough, we can see that it's got a big port on the back. And uh, let's see, end, boop, 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 boop. There's no little ports. Okay. And as we found out, well, as I found out and as I explained to you guys, the small conveyor tubes can only connect to the small ports, like that one right there. They cannot connect to the large ports, for example, the ones on the back of the welders or the one on the back of the grinders. So if you want to use uh, the small tubes, you have to have the small connectors. If you want to use the large tubes, you have to have the large connectors. And vice versa. If you want to use the large connectors, you have to use the large tubes. Uh, so I need a converter, basically. Some way to take this small connection and turn it into a large connection. Now, I found the best way to do that is with a medium cargo container. Because if we look at the medium cargo container, we can see that on one side, it's got the small connectors. In fact, it's got it on both sides. Uh, and on the other two sides it's got the large connectors. So I can just go like that, and there we go. Now we have uh, an adapter, basically, eventually, once it gets built anyways. And then I can go G, and 
Now, as we saw, the grinder also has the problem where the connector's on the back. So I have to use large tubes, uh, the curved conveyor tube, boop, and connect um, like that. I can't tell. It is actually kind of hard to tell. Hang on. It is really hard to... Wait, what the hell's going on? I think that's the right way, but... I don't think this is working like it should. Hang on. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. All right. I think it's trying to auto-center itself. Like, make it that the connections are actually connecting. But it's inconsistent on when it does it. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, like we saw with the small tubes, it doesn't. But with the large tube, it tried to. I, I don't know what's going on. All right, then back to six, which is our grinder. And then we just connect a grinder there, a grinder there. And then all of a sudden, we have a direct connection to our from our small tube system to our grinders and our, lar our medium cargo container here. Yeah, for the record, while I was building Volt downstairs, I kind of designed this all in my head while I was just building it. Um, it worked. It just turned out to work. Um, I was hoping something like that would happen with the large ship, but uh, that didn't turn out all that well. <laughs> and we just gotta wait till we can get these things finished. I like the idea that these welders can attach to large containers, uh, to, well, medium cargo containers in this case, and I can just start welding and I don't have to worry about running back and getting inventory as often. But there are a couple of things that I really wish the large welders would do. One, I wish it would tell me what I'm welding and what items I'm using and have. That way I know when it stops that you know, I need to go th get this specific thing instead of hopping out of my cockpit, switching over to my welder, my hand welder, and then going and seeing, okay, this is the part I need. You know, since now I can connect straight to the conve to our, yeah, the station's conveyor system, you know, that's the only time I have to get out of the cockpit when I'm welding something is to figure out what I'm missing, then get back in the cockpit, then connect to the system. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of a lot of annoying. All right, so now we have that. And now I have to decide how I want to do this. I'm probably going to do it exactly the same way as I have on amp here. And the way I did that, I got a reactor. Let's see, reactor, reactor, reactor. A large reactor because that's how I work, baby. And, yeah. Make sure the small... Um, what would I call them? That's a good question. I call them connectors, but I don't think that's the right port. Access ports, maybe? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The small access ports. Make sure the small access ports are connected to the conveyor there. Um, and that will give us the reactor. Then I do need some gyroscopes. And DW is going to log in here eventually. Um, that's cool. Love hanging out with the DW. Alright, how do I want to build this exactly? Do I want this there, or do I want this up a bit? Like there. And then I can put uh, thrusters here and here. Um, yeah, let's do that. And I'll put another one here for a little bit more maneuverability. Boop. I still have not figured out if you keep a, th uh, a gyroscope this way and then make another one that way if that makes it any more maneuverable i don't know um again i think in reality it would actually make everything worse i do know i need large uh tubes uh these guys boop uh let's see just grab 10 of them because they weigh a lot or they take up a lot of space i should say they don't weigh a lot because weighing things doesn't really matter in this game um, volume does, which is a cool concept. I do like the concept, but I would point out, again, I've pointed this out before, that mass is important in space. Uh, your weight, how much you weigh, 
is important because that's how you determine acceleration. Boop, boop. All right, and then I'm going to put a thruster here, pointing upwards. Um, that's... No, not end. Delete. Delete. There we go. Boop. Yeah, put, a, put one putting upwards. Uh, downwards is going to be difficult. Which I guess I could just put it right there. Uh, boop. Ugh. Kind of hard to see sometimes. I can't. Well, I'm thinking about putting it there, but I can't access it right now because I have this large reactor in a way. Uh, again, with the idiot in space thing, because I was stupid and didn't plan these things out. Pop. Uh, do I want it forward a bit? Or do I want it back here? No, I want it forward a bit. I want it right there. Everything will be aligned right there. Alright. Uh, five for the small thruster. That's not a small thruster. Uh, insert... I think I figured out why I have such a giant problem figuring out these uh, directions. You know, when I'm putting down blocks. I think I finally figured out why I'm having such a problem with it. And that is that the helpful hints there change. Um, oh, like that, for example. It gets, it gets, oh, that was perfect. That was a perfect example right there, right there. Okay, so see how insert and page up are on the top there? But if I do that, it's delete and page down. They don't stay relative to your position, or at least they, may, they might actually try to stay relevant, rel relative to your position, but I can't understand it. So it's a bit weird, and it's a bit hard to understand. Um, all right, now you might be asking, well, there's two down, there's Two on the side, two on that side, but there's only one to the top. I plan on putting another one back here on the other side of the reactor. Uh, just because I can't put one on this side and one on that side, it doesn't work. Um, let us get into amp and solder up what we have for right now. Whee! And then that way we have down, as well as left, right, and up. And I just need to worry about forward and backwards, and forward and backwards is actually... Or forward's kind of difficult, because I have to worry about the curved tubes there, the corner tubes. Uh, backwards, backwards is easy. Like I said, I'm going to pull them out from the sides of the ship. Um, that way I can keep them away from the uh, connectors in the back. And I don't have to worry about blowing things up, because I do that a lot. I really do. I've had to rebuild this entire station several times over because of my own stupidity and my own mistakes. Oh. And this just kind of keeps going, doesn't it? I'm just sitting here soldering, being an idiot. Okay, it's because it's so it's trying to solder everything at once. So it's putting a little bit to the to the to that thruster and it's putting a little bit to that thruster and a little bit to the gyroscope and a little bit to that thruster and it's just I would expect that this giant welders would be faster, but they don't seem to be. Maybe the big ship welders. Maybe eventually I'll have to make a giant freaking ship with a giant freaking welder. That would be interesting. Hmm. And now I feel like I'm not doing anything. Oh, but I heard something click, so I'm apparently doing something. It... it a progress bar would be really nice. I know that'd be difficult with the AOE and affecting a bunch of different things at once, but a progress bar would be really, really nice. I would really, really appreciate it. If you guys could do something about that, maybe. I don't know. And I'm not liking the yellow of this ship. I'm not. It's just the wrong color yellow. Maybe more of an orangish yellow like I did with the highlights on the station. That might be nice. Wow, these gyroscopes take for freaking ever to weld. They do, don't they? Oy. All right, well, you know what? We're rolling over the 35, 30 minute mark. We're rolling over the 35 minute mark, actually, because that's how long I've been recording anyways. Um, so I'm going to end this episode here and I will pick it up later. Uh, 
basically after these parts are welded, because apparently they take fucking forever. I don't know, I might have to do them by hand. I I seem to think that there's some form of glitch with the giant welder that every now and then it's not actually welding. Um, or at least when it does weld, it's ridiculously slow. I don't know. But I'm going to end it up here. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. It's about bloody time. God, it's still welding!